taking the damping down. Now I'm going to add the generic man, give him a 0.3 offset, say OK. Again, gravity's off, self collision is on, use owing springs. Let's turn that. Actually, let's keep that on. I'm going to hit simulate local. And so actually you're going to see this skirt kind of moving out. You can see it's actually kind of expanding a little bit as it gets back into this shape, as I showed you earlier. So let's hit stop for right now. So that the panels are much larger than they were before. Now the thing that I need to check, however, is back down in Garment Maker, did I lose my did I lose my seams? I'll turn that off. And unfortunately it looks like I did because I wasn't getting any creases. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this. It's something to keep in mind is that uh, if you go back down and erase everything and then reapply Garment Maker, obviously you lose all of your crease angles. So keep that in mind. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone through I've actually re-added all of these crease angles in so that they are correct. So I can actually select one or two. Yes, so those are all correct. So if I go back up to ClothFX, so I want to reset the state. I don't want it to, to have what it did before. I want it to actually start to simulate everything with these seams and creases in the pleats that I'm creating moving at the same time. So I'll hit Simulate Local Damped. and it'll start figuring out how to fold itself. All the seams come together. You can actually see the triangles actually returning to their default state, pushing themselves out. And considering I'm not using Simulate Local, I'm basically getting rid of the uh, per-frame inertia that can cause all sorts of fun problems. And so now the garment is starting to, to bend and fold and create pleats. And when I was talking about that kind of uh, reverse U, let's actually pause the simulation and turn off edged faces. You can actually see that it goes in, then out, then across, then back down. So I'm getting an interesting look across the skirt. Of course, being the, the fashion magnet I am, this is just a, uh, a made-up design. Probably not really uh, terribly beautiful. Most any, any women out there will be going, what is he doing? But don't care. It's my video. So, okay. So now I've got the, the cloth simmed to a certain extent. Let's go ahead and turn off Use Sewing Springs. And I'm going to hit Simulate Local just for a second. Let it snap itself together. It's going to come together a little bit more and start to drape, which is okay. And then, before I even move further on, what I want to do is grab these upper verts because I need something for it to hang on to as it's being simulated. So I'm going to delete out all of the second row because I'm going to show you another little trick here because the the waistband is a little bit on the wide side right now, not really conforming terribly well. So what I'm going to do is another little trick in a moment. Let's grab all those. I got one. A little difficult one to spot. Okay, so I've got all those. I'll call make group. I'm going to call it um, waistband verts. Say OK, and I'm going to attach it to the surface, to the generic man, so that those are going to stick now when I turn gravity on. OK. And actually, what I'm going to do, I almost forgot to do, I'm going to select those, and I'm going to tell it to 
to use these properties. And again, the U and the V scales do 0.9 on each one so that those verts are going to shrink in just a little bit. Okay, so now I've got this here where I want it. Again, I'll probably save as my favorite thing to do. GM aligned with pleats, save. So now it's saved in case something catastrophic happens. And now what I can do is I'll turn on gravity. And I'm going to hit simulate local. And of course, you'll see that the waistband shrinks down and the garment tends to now fall under gravity. So it's going to start to drape the way you would expect at the start of a simulation. Okay, so now I'm starting to get some something of a look that I want. Okay, so now that it's all set, I can go ahead and start the simulation of this character walking. As you'll see here now, something is telling me early on, if I look at this guy, it pretty much looks like I've got interpenetration happening between the arm, the forearm, and the waist. And that's going to cause a problem because more than likely the thumb is going to interconnect with the with the cloth. The forearm is going to cause some some issues as well as far as rubbing and overstretching the vertices. So I probably want to go back through before I set anything up and set up a group so that the verts here and here don't collide. Don't hook the cloth, don't cause it to misbehave during the simulation. So let's actually go in and I'm going to select my Actually, I'm going to select this, the skirt first. I'm going to go into group, and I'm going to create a new group. And it's going to be pretty much everything. Well, it's actually going to be to about there, which is really where I need it. And I'll say make group, and this is skirt verts. I'll just make it simple, and I'll get out of cloth effects. Now I'm going to select my character, and I'm going to go back into group. And this time, using the lasso, I'm going to grab the verts there and the verts there. Let's go into, oops, I don't want to have him non-colliding with the body. So I make sure that those are all done. So now I've got the arms and I'm going to make a new group called arms. And what I want to do is have it no collide. So I'm going to use this group and I'm going to tell it, don't collide with the skirt verts. So these verts will not collide with the skirt verts. And that's really all there is to it at that point. So I'll select my skirt again. And in fact, I'm going to save it again, just in case something catastrophic happens. I don't expect it, but better safe than sorry. And now what I can do is hit simulate and let it run through the simulation. And as I do this, I'm going to go ahead and stop it and let the thing run through, and then I'll be back in a bit. All right, so the simulation finished, and if I go back and hit play, you can now see that the, the creases actually maintain themselves across the board, and I can go in and throw subdivide on it or an HSDS or whatever I want to clean it up, smooth it out. I can relax it down a little bit so that it's just a little bit little bit smoother. And so you get the idea of how you do pleats and seams within uh, cloth X. You can see how you built out extra internal seam lines. You saw how you were able to use the reference uh, method of building your clothing and garment maker so that you can go in and tweak. In fact, you know, considering this skirt was just a little too small for this character, we were able to uh, broaden it up, and uh, hopefully this gives you some pretty good ideas of some of the workflow features.